I got a new mug for February. Okay, without looking, if it doesn't involve SRK, you need to return it and get one that has SRK on it. <sighs> yes, it does. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. And Instagram and Twitter. Follow us. And this is not a uh, Shogun Khan video, uh, but I just wanted to show no, off my new February I mean, mug. It's always a good time to show off. Uh, um, you know, it's not February yet. I know. But if I would have ordered it in February, it would have been late. You could have ordered it now for a February 1st delivery. Why would I do that? And just because you had it didn't mean you had to use it. But I wanted to. Today we got a new Malayalam trailer, um, and it's a Fafa. No, okay, I just had to ask. But uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for this one in terms of just watching. This is called "Forgive the Butchering," uh, but the column. It's a Malayalam film, um, and it's on horror. Sony Alevi. Nice. It's a horror film. Excellent. Uh, Malayalam horror. Um, and it's getting apparently rave reviews. Great. A lot of people say it's real good. Apparently it just dropped on the 21st. Uh, Beautiful. So, um, a lot of people watching Again, it. Again, we have the scary month of January. <laughs> it's a very scary month. Every, very scary month. It is for new. me. The dead of winter is my least time, least favorite least time, time of Least time of year. My least favorite time of the year. Uh, Don't do drugs, kids. So let's see how this is. And another Sony LV. Yep. I know, Sony Live, whatever. Live. <laughs> I don't like where this is headed. <laughs> no oh, it's the main guy from Kumbalaji Nights. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a good cut. I like that. that was a really good cut. <laughs> I'm so interested. Yeah, I'm interested because it's not going the typical like paranormal kind of. I mean, maybe it will. Uh, obviously, it's Malayalam, so they don't, they don't really yeah. tell you exactly what's going to go on. But yeah, no way to predict it definitively. It almost yeah. seems like it's like the mom is like <laughs> mom. Being a, it's the it's young Norman Bates here with yeah. his mom. It seems and like I loved the 
that edit from the moment of getting locked in the closet to her just sitting out eating, eating ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we know her too. Uh, I feel like we've seen her before. Uh, but yeah, there was a really well cut trailer, well cut to the music, and yeah. maybe some suspense. It kept you intrigued. It was like, okay, I know this is a horror. Why? Are we, why yeah. is it scary? Because it wasn't crazy scary. No, half of it just felt like an odd drama. Uh huh. A couple of moments I thought it was good. For a split second, I thought his character was going to take like a Nawaz and Ramen Rog of 2.0 turn mm. and thought it was going to get really creepy dark. Yeah. And it never... Doesn't mean the film won't go there, but it definitely in the trailer didn't do that. It was an interesting trailer. Following the death of a family member, a mother and son experience mysterious events which distort uh, their reality to make them question their sanity. Ah, that's great. So it's almost... That's a really, really good sentence to describe. Similar, I guess, to uh, what we saw from Radhika. In phobia, maybe some of like she's imagining things that aren't there, yeah. kind of. Yeah, or even um, yeah, like I, I, I think it's gonna get you even more than yeah. Like I think this will fall under psychological thriller uh -huh. more than more than definitive horror per se. Yeah, but we who knows. A good trailer will have not revealed everything, and we may see some really scary stuff. Um, but it was well put together. I'm definitely interested. I feel, I feel I don't know where we know her from, and I can't find her on the thing. And then this guy, I think we know too, right? We yeah, we've seen him in a few in, Sa in, in a Sa couple Sa of things. Saiju? I think. Why do I feel like we saw him in pizza? The one with the kids in the pizza place. The with VJ. Yeah. That we saw for. See you soon. Okay, he was in See You Soon. Maybe that's where I'm remembering him from. Oh, no, he was in uh, the Android. Android, ah. He was there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, well, I knew we had seen him. I just didn't pinpoint exactly where we'd seen him before. Yeah, we've seen him a few places. I'm wondering if there's anything else. Um, yeah, it looks real interesting. I would be interested in seeing it. Yep. Um, and I've heard, like, ever since it came out, we've I mean, just been getting inundated. People are like, oh, watch this film, watch this film. Uh, very underrated opinion. And I like that lead actor, too, even though I think we've only ever seen him in Kumbhali G9. Kumbhali but I thought he did a he was fantastic great that. job. He's very natural yep. uh, in his performance. Uh, and this looks like a similar kind of... Uh, he's just going to be very small, very natural. I feel like that's Molly on. It is. A hundred percent it is. They're, they're kind of just... Yep. It's what they like to do, yep. um, which is why Thankfully. they, I think, put out so much good content. Yep. Um, I don't think we've seen anything else, but yeah. Because it says the mom and him. I hope. So maybe it's like they're both, like she's seeing stuff and she's making him walk yeah. in. It's like a dual. A dual, thi a dual thing that leaves the audience wondering, okay... Which of these two is manipulating the other and which of these two is actually seeing and hearing stuff? Or is the other person making the other one think they're seeing and hearing stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or obviously something's completely different. It's Molly Elm, so they, once again. They, yeah, it's going to have a twist. They're kind of known for just not putting everything in the trailer. Yep. <laughs> Keeping you guessing. Like, obviously, Compology Nights. We're not going to tell you what happened if you haven't seen it, but there's a... There's <laughs> Kind of a crazy twist. Uh, but I'm, I'm really liking the increase we're seeing in, in scary stuff that's getting created. Uh, yeah. Because we talked about how there's been such a it's, lack of that content. I think it's an unexplored uh, genre in yeah. Indian cinema. It absolutely is. Um, and, but I feel like, I think with all the OTTs, this is Sony LIV. There's Netflix stuff that's coming out. There's Amazon. And so you're getting this stuff that probably normally would Hulu, be late because, HBO Max, because normally the people would be like I don't know if people are going to go see the th go to the theater to right, see this right and they're like we'll make it yep we'll put it on straight to OTT yep. and it's 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 really wonderful it and really I think is. it's inspiring so much creativity and yeah. it's, it's really wonderful and clearing the playing field like we mentioned this on another video that's posted at some point where YouTube was originally thinking they were going to do creative original content like Amazon does and Netflix does and Sony and they've done a full backpedal on that and that's probably it's probably wise because it would have been one thing to have done it six seven years ago it's another thing to be jumping in it now unless you're willing to invest several billion dollars and roll the dice and see if it's going to work because Obviously, the well, they competition's had, getting high i think the problem they had was because i saw some of the originals that they were trying to do they hired youtubers to do like like oh. Logan Paul style of YouTubers, right? And so it's not like it was high quality stuff that they were putting out. They were just like, people like watching this. Let's put them in a series. So they were trying to capitalize on whatever content creators they had uh -huh. making original content. Yeah. 
that I'm you know, glad they stopped. Which is why it failed. I'm glad they stopped. And as opposed to like, yeah. let's make some good high quality stuff. Not to have right, to do with, with YouTube with real artists that do this media. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I think that's where they failed. Made honestly. sense. Made sense. Well, I'm glad they stopped. Yeah. <laughs> glad they stopped. I don't know why. Like Google has infinite amount of money. Which they own YouTube, yeah, and so like you think they would try Not, to wouldn't surprise me if they go a different direction and that they do it as a, in a different. They won't do it with on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, it was great. Let us know how this one is if this one's worth a watch, because um, I'd be very interested in seeing. Absolutely, it. Uh, please so, yeah, let, us, let know. us know how this one is uh, down. Just